fighting for our families, are fighting for pay to our benefits, to our insurance, for workload reduction. You know, these companies are making billions of dollars a month in profit. And so all we're asking for is a little piece of, uh, of that pie. Thousands of culinary union workers are picketing outside several major resorts today. Nevada's culinary union represents 53,000 workers in Las Vegas. And since April, the union has been negotiating with MGM Resorts, Caesars Entertainment, and Wynn Resorts for a new worker contract. Chanting for change with possibilities for a strike looming. They don't get no peace. Don't get peace. Members of the Culinary and Bartenders Union were loud and proud in front of several MGM and Caesars properties earlier tonight. We do a whole lot of work. Our workload is too hard. And also, we need a raise. Vice President Kamala Harris making a stop in Las Vegas. And part of her visit today included meetings with culinary union workers. Well, I wanted to come by and just acknowledge the culinary workers. I have known their work for years. And they are true champions for working people. And so, just came by to say hello to them and to thank them for all standing up for working people. When they're in this fight, all people, all working people really do benefit. So, I applaud them. Vice President Harris told us she understands that these are workers that work super hard, their physical jobs. And she said she supports us 100%. And if there's a strike, she'll be on our picket line. We don't get no contract! You don't get no fee! The important thing is we are the community. Las Vegas is a union town. We always have been. When I'm out here, my neighbors are out here with me. Everybody's going to support us in getting better wages so we can provide better living for our families in the city. Tonight, thousands of hospitality workers made their voices heard on the Las Vegas trip as the Culinary Union held the second of two information pickets. Right now, they are negotiating a five-year union contract. Union members have authorized a strike but have yet to set a deadline to walk off the job. Some of their top concerns include changing strike language for workers, expanding safety and technology language, reducing workload, and a substantial wage and benefit increase. So again, what you saw on the strip today, this was not a strike, but this is what the strike could look like if it comes to that.